It's the important things in life. Deer stand p placement. Very important. Obviously, I'm going to have to trim the tree down a little bit. Let's get to it. So right now, it's too windy, basically. Ooh, this looks good. Wow. I have a little bit of cover, and I can almost see my entire grass field. So I've seen a few big ones, some monsters walking around over here. So I got pretty excited. I bought me a tree stand. Yeah, this is going to work out. I'm so excited. Probably have to start baiting them even. Pretty nice tree stand. Uh, it's almost, it's camouflage and everything, so I think I'm going to have to strap it down just so you don't fall down. That reminds me, never fall asleep while you're in a tree stand. The wake up is horrible, let me tell you. That does not feel good. Alright, we need to get this branch out of our field, pick this up, move it. Did you guys just hear that? What the heck? I swear I heard a growl. <gasps> I heard it again. What the heck? Let's see if I can see. I can't see into the woods on the top of the tree stand. Whoa. All right. That's the last growl. I'm out of here. Yep. No more of this stuff. Don't have a gun on me. Don't have anything. Yeah. Not gonna do that. Yep. I'm gonna have to have my wits about me when I'm in that tree stand. Because, wow. What's up, girl? Yeah. Good girls. Let's feed you here. Speaking about feed. Always. When you're gonna go out to the farm doesn't matter if you have a two-hour job or not always pack a lunch pack some snacks because there's nothing more important than having some chow while you're in the cab at least to me that is so man sometimes it gets a little boring in there if you have some snacks it just makes it so much better so never forget your lunch pail while you're in the tractor cab Wind died down, so we're gonna try to spray. So I am doing uh, spraying for a neighbor. It's kind of uh, a unique op a unique situation. So oh, uh, Big Roy, he's selling his farm, but he's not selling. Let's see if we got any mail in here. Oh, got a some mail from the squad you're cordially invited to a redneck party oh wait shoot i missed that all together man i gotta check my mail more often man that man who who puts invites in the mail it's weird i'm gonna have to check my mail daily because Usually I just get bills. Now I I missed a redneck party. I'm uh, pretty upset with myself. Oh Roy over here. So he has a soybean field. Oh I mean a flower field over there. No, it's soybeans. But uh, yeah, it's gotten a little bit crazy as you can tell. That's the weeds are a little bit high. So. Oh, Roy, he's getting out of farming. He's basically, he wants to sell his place, but he wants to rent out his land still. Uh, but he already halfway through his crops, so he's basically just having us custom farm his crops for him uh, until he can rent. Uh, I'm going to try to rent his ground, but I'm not for sure. See, you can see he has for sale signs on his place. Uh, he's a little strapped for cash, 
So we're doing a little unique uh, operation here. So I'm custom farming for him. Basically the contents of old shit. No barn, well, shed, garage, but uh, I'm helping him out. He's a little strapped for cash. He hasn't got, you know, his house sold yet. Speaking of that, uh, pretty sure that's my bail. I didn't even know I lost that. Hmm. Yep, gonna have to pick that up. Huh, the things you find in a ditch. This is our spraying operation, so we got the little uh, shorty C70. We got a uh, trailer. I just put a uh, tank on here, so I'm being cheap. You know, I, I uh, farmer rigged it. Basically, just put a big old tank on your, uh, your flatbed trailer. That way I can put all my sprayer on the back and everything. Works out great. So we're going to spray these flowers a little bit, get these flowers nice so they grow up, so we can give some to our wife. I think it's funny how weeds in this area just grow up as flowers. They're all nice and beautiful. Mm, not usually, so obviously these weeds should have been sprayed a long time ago. Uh, but, you know, Roy, he's been selling his equipment. He's a little strapped for cash can't really afford that type of stuff so we're gonna spray them for them all right we're headed off here surprised how much I mean we must have mixed this chemical just perfect because we are like literally burning these flowers off uh, I would like to get a bigger uh, pump on this uh, old uh, 6,000 sprayer so I can go a little bit faster. I'm used to spraying about, you know, at least about over 12 mile an hour, but because we have waste high flowers in this field, uh, we definitely have to put the dope on pretty uh, heavy, which causes you to put a lot of uh, pressure through that pump and that's why we can't really go that fast but I put a little bit bigger uh, water pump on this thing and we'd be able to spray a lot quicker even when somebody uh, forgets about their flowers in their field I mean look at that it's like uh, killing that stuff off like nobody's business does does make the field look a little uh, ugly. These poor soybeans are really stunted by this uh, flowers. Still, well, see what my wife packed me in the lunch over here. Hmm, looks like we got a fruit roll up here. That's kind of nice. What else we got? Uh, ah. Eh? We got a soda pop, yeah, and a uh, bologna sandwich, yeah, yeah, oh, and a Snickers, all right, I guess, let's see, I, uh, fruit roll up, yep, always love these things, all right, that field is done, no more flower beds in his field. Well, the flowers really burn off with all that herbicide. Hmm. Yep. Alright, we're gonna leave that in the field for right now because we're gonna have to spray the beans with fungicide once he gets his chemical selected or purchased. So, we'll come back, spray the field with fungicide. I know, I don't have a dual sprayer, so I kind of have to, uh, spray either or it's not fancy all right so basically Roy told me multiple projects so he did actually get to harvest some of his wheat uh, he did plow it under now he just needs it double cropped soybeans so we're gonna jump in this uh, 8100 
Uh, we're gonna have to unhitch the grain cart, hook it up to the planter again, get that planter running, plant his field, and then hopefully that is the last item and we can start snooping around in a shed. Got our uh, 12 row planter. So we're gonna just plant these soybeans in 30 inch rows here. Uh, we did kind of put it away until double crops. Yeah, this is quite the hill to get up to. Like, oh yeah. Definitely not the easiest entrance to our little old uh, shop barn here. Yeah, hook this up. So part of the agreement was that we were going to uh, purchase the seed for the soybeans too, so... Yeah, I'm hoping these contents of this uh, place is pretty nice because seed is not cheap. But we got some extra seed anyways, so I'm going to have to pull this, pull our gooseneck out, put some of this seed into our planter, head down there, and hopefully start planting here quickly. Just backing this up over here. Just got a few bags to put in our seed boxes here. Put some fertilizer in our planter. That looks good. Start putting these on over here. All right, planter is filled up. I'm gonna have to park this back into the garage. I don't want them seed bags getting wet. I think I'm going to put it in our other shed because uh, that one's kind of a tight fit. I'm gonna have to somehow squeeze it in over here. This is not the easiest task because that's one heck of a little rise on this uh, old barn shed. I don't exactly know what to call this. It's a shed barn. Yeah, it's not easy when you're putting it up these ramps like this and trying to make it through a tight door. That's why I usually don't park a lot of uh, items in here. Ah, first try. It doesn't happen all the time. Let's just let's say that. There we go. Alright, that's done. That was a lot easier than what I expected. I'm gonna get more contents for my lunch pail here. And uh, we're gonna head out and plant this field, hopefully. It'll take but a two, few hours. Always gotta fill up the lunch pail every time you go out in the tractor. Yep, this field is definitely gonna give my kidneys a nice little uh, jar. Ugh. My stomach is not gonna be settled. Oh man, probably shouldn't have ate so much. Yep, it was chisel plowed at an angle. Man, this is gonna be a rough ride planting this field. Whew. Yep. Well, nothing better than just getting it done. Oh man. Good thing I have a good air ride seat in this thing. Wish I had a suspension cap. Because, wow. Little bumpy. Just getting these last headland passes. Just got a uh, little bit right here. So this field only took us, what, about four hours to plant. So, I mean, productivity was pretty high. Uh, we only had to fill up once. So that helped out. No issues with the planter. Uh, fairly big field, if you can see. It's not teeny. I don't know exactly what that weed is right there. Never seen that before. 
Almost done. Just right here. Alright. That field is done. Fold the planter up. Head back. And then we gotta talk to Roy. Cause we got a shed to clear out. Alright, just unfolding this planter right back at our garage here. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Don't like to have my planter. It's too much money to have this thing dirty. Clean this up a little bit. Uh, we still have to double crop our uh, wheat. Hoping anyways. Once it gets to about July 4th, it's really too late to plant the double crops in our area here, but... Mm, we still have a few more days, but we need this sun to come out and dry our feet wheat up. This looks like a perfect job for the old Cummins. Let's start this thing up. Oh, I forgot to let you guys know. I purchased a very unique trailer. This is, uh, you know, I think this project might be perfect for this trailer and there might be better trailers out there but I mean I think this trailer is cool it's basically a toy hauler trailer a version of a toy hauler trailer I kind of built it in my little shop here uh, it's definitely unique definitely gonna have to check this thing out here we go yep England has double-decker buses, and I have a double-decker toy hauler. So, this thing has its own built-in ramp. Uh, it kind of deals with, uh, it just has this cable-driven pump right here. Uh, obviously, you can't have any weight on it, but you, the cables and everything will raise and lower this whole top deck here. So, you can put a little bit of weight, you can't put a lot. Especially if you don't want to go teeter-tottering down the road, but let's get this hooked up Just barely makes it out of that garage I wanted Definitely shaped it just perfectly so it's just a normal car trailer nothing too special about it, it does have a nice ramp on the back So then if you want to lower it all you do is lower the cable, lowers that whole top deck down, and I know it, it's not the perfect, but you could basically put a few lighter items on here. Toys, snowmobiles, three-wheelers, and raise it on up like that. Voila! Then you could put like a or old uh, Corvette under there or something, something nice and a little bit heavier, some type of toy, and raise up your uh, back uh, gate here and perfect. But it's pretty, uh, it works great. You can definitely, it's more, it's almost. I really purchased it so I can uh, pull it with a camper go out there camping with all my toys. Alright, now the show and tell is over with. We need to get over to this shed because uh, I want to see what what all of our hard work these last few days if it's paid off or not. It's always a shame to see a farmyard go like this. This is quite the farmyard but don't have it in our funds to start purchasing another farmyard. I really like his uh, shop here though. That is definitely a nice shop, but really just can't afford it right now. Alright, this is old shed. This is definitely hidden behind all his stuff here. Uh oh. Yeah. Definitely some uh, junk in front. We're going to have to clear this off. Get the old chainsaw out. There we go. T 
Timber. All right. Let's see. Uh, can we raise this door up here? Yeah, the springs seem to be broken in it. Oh, man. These doors are so heavy when the springs are broken. All right. Got it. Oh, man. This is heavy. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man. I think I see an old Model A. Oh. So we. So, just so y'all know, he I knew there was a Model A in this old shed. Uh, we kind of came to an agreement. He gave me a good deal on this. Obviously, this, he's not, no amount of farm work or a little bit of farm work is going to pay for one of these things. But, uh, we kind of got first crack at the deal for this, so... But he did give us this old, uh, let's see, I need to squeeze by right here. He did give us this old motorcycle well, with the side card on it. I've always wanted one of these. Uh, pretty sure it's in running condition. This is an old, uh, I believe this is from Europe or somewhere. I'm not exactly sure what that symbol means on the bike. But it definitely has a European uh, license plate on it. I don't know. He must have got this. He said he just acquired it from somebody else that had it. Never really drove it much. But, I mean, I think this would be sweet. I mean, old Hank can ride with us. He can, you know, get the goggles on. Or we can even put... Buy some uh, doggy goggles. Doggles. And uh, put Gina back in our side cart. And she would just love that riding around I don't think my wife would really like it a little side card action but uh why not let's see if we can get this thing running and get it out of here because that is definitely gonna be some fun times definitely be one of our fun little toys to have around the farm all right push that over there we should have enough, so I believe this old Model A does run. At least that's what our agreement was. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just the horn. That's got to sound 30s right there. Don't think it's going to fit up in there. Oh, man. Whew. And do I really want to chance it? I mean, Model A's ain't exactly light. If I put it up on top, ooh, we might be a little tipsy. Definitely don't want that Model A tipping over. That's definitely a priceless... Alright, so I wouldn't recommend this, but, uh, yeah. We are a little bit tip seats so I couldn't fit that Model A underneath there. I'm gonna have to take this very very slow because I am extremely top heavy on this trailer. Oh man it's I'll probably end up regretting this. Uh, fold this up so I have to hook this up to basically my battery and it basically runs this little itty bitty cable drive and wrench there that lifts and lowers everything. So, get this. Alright, now that that's done, I'll shut this. This is a uh, don't do this at home type trailer load. But thank you all for watching. I will see you next time in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Wow. That was a close call. Make sure you smash that like button. If you don't like to smash that like button, just hit that dislike twice. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Just make sure you hit it twice, not once. But thank you all for watching. I'm going to have to... Uh, change my pants and uh slowly unload this model a uh.